<laughs> What's his appetite for dicks? Yeah, buddy. Meet Wallets. On this episode of Bad Graphics, we head out to Fort Walton Beach in the sunny state of Florida. It was being held at the Emerald Coast Convention in Destin, and boy, did we have us a good time. Yeah, buddy. Woo! After a first night fun on the beach, we head over to the Emerald Coast Convention Center. We start loading up our old ho ho video games. Very first customer to come up to our booth, a man named Robert. He was there for three days and he was a funny character. He comes with the black box. We took a grand for this box. A grand? A grand? Oh, yeah, yeah, like a thousand. That's oh, a I think you meant like a gram. Yeah, for like the a box. Gram of Coke. <laughs> you want to sell it for a thousand dollars? If it's a surprise box, no, no, it's a guessing game. <laughs> I, I might be more inclined to do it if I could just touch it. <laughs> nah, you can touch it with your finger. Can I touch it with my dinghy? <laughs> uh, no. Maybe with your... I don't think I have the money to be gambling a grand. Tis a shame because I, I had some interesting I stuff in it. there. Because, uh, let's see, I had Ooh. Bubble Bubble Part 2, I had Bonk's Adventure, Yeah, Buddy, Power Blade 2, Man. Zombie Nation, Ooh. and Scat. By the way, I'm not selling I'm just oh, bullshitting damn. you. Damn! You win there. some, you lose some. When that yeah, was good, you win some, lose some. Did you just pick them video games up? After this man's bamboozling he did on us, he decides he wants to buy a couple video games. I might get that young Indiana Jones. I'm searching oh. for that one. I'm for searching the for the Chronicles? Frankenstein, but... Which do you think's hard to find, Indy or Frankenstein? A toss-up, man. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Indy because I haven't seen that before. Cliffhanger, I don't have that one. You, need, you want the cliffhanger? Frankenstein's, Frankenstein's a little harder to find than the cliffhanger. Yeah, but I only got it. It's hard to I find still a that game. Cliff but old Buzz here still needs cliffhanger in his collection, so I, I kindly talked him out of it. Video games. I work for a living, too. I gotta siphon the gas out of the tank. I'd say you got to the... <laughs> To the convention? No. <laughs> Siphon the old gas? I'll take that Frankenstein. What are you, uh, you willing to sell for both of them? What am I willing to sell for both? That is a great question. Yeah, dude. Let's see here. The Frank and Weenie, yeah. Indiana Jones. Let's see. We got $64 on it. Will you take 60 for both? 60 60 Ooh. It's cash. Uh, Three Colonel Jacksons. <laughs> Let me see. If you can do 10 push-ups without stopping, yeah, I'll do 60 bucks. With my skinny arms, they'd be snapping too. And I'll let you hold it. Uh, <laughs> I'll let you hold it. <laughs> you gotta count off in, in Spanish. Oh no. No. Tres. You want me to sit Quatro. on your back and help you? Cinco. Seis. You want to take? Oh. Only. Yes. Okay. Man, it was almost <laughs> worth the embarrassment. <laughs> that looked more like a bear crawl than a push-up. 60 bones, my man. All right, thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your sanity while it lasts. <laughs> Next, meet Walt to come up to our booth. He was interested in Lords of Thunder for the Sega CD and a 32X in the box. All right, what do you got? I got Lords of Thunder and 32X. What's good? What, 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 are, you, what are you offering here? 180? 180 for both. Oof. 180. What about how much you say 185? Yeah. I decided to give him a little trickery and add five dollars onto the price. <laughs> about 185 and you give me 20 sit-ups. <laughs> 185 and 20 sit-ups. Have yeah. you seen this waistline, bro? <laughs> yeah, you got three, three. Elbows got to touch the knee. You got to hold it. All right, I got you. Decides he does not want the old Lords of Thunder. He's just going to go for the 32X. We're changing the deal up. We're taking Lords of Thunder out here. He, he's got he's got to run with the 32X. Uh, here's what we'll do. How about we do 
How about we do a, uh, a 55 spot and 10 sit-ups? All right, work. Just keep your eye on the prize here. All right. How much? How many you want? Ten. Ten. All right. Pump them up. Count them out. One. Ten. Two. Three. Four. Five. That's perfect form. Six. <laughs> seven. Eight. <laughs> nine. Ten. My Woo! man. Thirty-two X. Nice. You can do it. That's deal. Appreciate it. Old Norman the Gaming Historian's interested in a little bases loaded 4 for the NES. Uncommon Nintendo game. Oh Norman! Well, here, here's the deal here. If you give me a history lesson, acting like a gangster, I'll give you that game for free. A history lesson acting like a gangster? Well, yes, okay, hold on, hold on. You mean gangsta like gangsta like, like fucking, yo yo like, or you mean gangsta like get him boys? <laughs> like, like, you ain't gonna do it. Man, I don't even know the history of bases like that. That's the problem. Or, or I, I've, I've been told you go to the gym. You, you guys can do a little ten push up race. Ooh, ten push up race with who? Oh me, Jared. Oh, I gotta do it. Jay. That's fair. Okay. So we're gonna do the race first. Three, two, one, go. Where's ballroom two? That was that was a that was a, that was a tie. Like you couldn't, you couldn't tie any more than that. There may have been some debate about whose form was was better and who who might have been cheating a little bit. Oof. Oof. Oh, it's coming tie. Oh, Billy decided to stop by and he's interested in a. River City Ransom Box and a Minty Turtles Box. You want a 10 for this? Yes. And you want a 7 for that? Yep. Alright. How about this? I'll do a push-up with you sitting on my back. If, if, I can, if I can do it, if I can do okay, it, okay. 10 for both. If I can't, 15 for both. Jay, what do you want? I'm trying to think here. I'm trying to think here. Billy's pretty strong. So can you do two? Two. That's my rebuttal, too. Now, old Billy must think that I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing. Billy is like a tree with weeping willow hair. I know he can push my 100 pound ass up one time, so I challenge him to do it twice, because I think that's a little more fair. Is there a grace period where I can rest for a couple seconds and come back up? <laughs> yeah, you can rest for five seconds. Five seconds? Five seconds, all right, deal. Let's do this. What would be your, what would be your facial reaction if I said it had to be me? Oh, we wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> be great. A ass to ass. <laughs> Straddle his hair like a bull. Woo! All right. Two. Woo! <laughs> get him, Bronco. Hey, all right. Sweet. 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 Next, I get talking to old pink shirt here. He's interested in uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day because he was telling me the last time he had seen us pair of titties was the last time he played Conkers. So I decided I was gonna give him a deal. All right. All right. What's going on with this Conkers? This gentleman right here, he wants her for 70 bucks, right? $70. Yes, you want her for 70? What do you, what do you think, what kind of dance moves are you gonna give us? You got some music? Put some Tupac or Big There we go. <laughs> All right, break it down. Look at that footwork, took his shoes off. Shit, buddy. <laughs> All right, dude. All right, 30 seconds. Oh my God. Nice. What is your definition of a diaper dick? Jared from Subway, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Colby, our new friend from the convention, decides he needs him some, some wrestling games. WCW. 13 bucks. How much do you want to pay? Let's do eight. Eight bucks. Whew. I'm a cheap diaper dick. <laughs> you have to act like you're playing one on one with Michael Jordan, but there's no Michael Jordan. And that's the hoop. I'm going to give you that one. Something is the rock. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. 
Yeah, buddy. <laughs> you just witnessed our new friend Colby. He just had gallbladder surgery three days ago, and he just laid out his body on the line for a nice dunkaroo for two. These next two characters? What are you guys looking for? I'm just seeing whatever's available. Just saw this uh, shiny Nintendo 64 controller. Oh, nice and shiny. How much is it? How much would you give me? Uh, a penny. <laughs> Smart ass. <laughs> I don't know, five bucks? That's a little low for me. Uh, <laughs> Absolute worst offer I've ever been given. He offered me five dollars for a gold and 64 controller. That, my friend, is so low that I couldn't even rebuttal. What else are you interested in buying? <laughs> well, I'm just seeing what you, you have. <laughs> the barter. <laughs> it's a golden freaking controller. You say you got two left feet? Yeah, it's a saying when you can't dance. I don't know that saying. You know what saying I do know is I can't sell that gold controller for five bucks. <laughs> How about 15 and you guys tango? Josh. How about we do 15 without the tango part? 15 without the tango? I'll do 10 with the tango. <laughs> but for some reason, they did something like a Kentucky backyard tango. I don't know what the they were doing, but it wasn't a real tango. <laughs> These guys were Jared's family. Any last words? I don't know. <laughs> he got nothing. Do you have last words? Penis. <laughs> Alrighty then. This is how you impress the ladies with your hat. Just take it like this. You like that? What does Buzzy think he's some young Harrison Ford? What a diaper dick. All right, your turn. Your you turn. Learn? <laughs> That's how you open your meat wallets. Oh, oh right. yeah, Thanks for the tricks. Uh, thanks for the tricks. All right, we wrap up day one. Good start to the three-day convention. Old Bad Graphics Gamers decide to go down to the beach afterwards with some buddies from the convention. Have us a few drinks down at the beach, have some fun. And old Buzzy, I'm pretty sure we had a bottle of liquor. Uh, he drank a majority of that bottle. I'm sober. <coughs> I remember when I had my first beer. I might have, I might have consume too much alcohol. You passed that on the beach? I, I was sleeping. <laughs> so we set up day two and, or should I say we is in plural, Jay sets up day two while Buzzy's sleeping under our booth fondling Rob the robot. Next person that comes up to our booth, Mr. Roboto himself. Can I pet your uh, your whiskers? Uh, go ahead. Thank you. Oof. I've never felt me such a nice set of whiskers in my life. Did the ATM take a couple bucks from you? Yeah, three dollars. Three bucks? Well, she turns into 47. If you want to do a party trick, we'll give you an even better deal. A party trick? If you dance, we'll give it to you for 45. 40, if I dance? Or are you a good singer? Uh, no, not really good singer. Okay, perfect. If you sing a song, <laughs> I give you two for 45. Ten seconds. The Spice Girls. So tell me what you want, what you want. Man, he knows yeah, it. Yeah, he knows all the words. <laughs> I don't know all the words. I know. Uh, I think two dollars for not singing. <laughs> all right, deal. Not everyone will be a diaper dick for us. How are we gonna make this deal work? How are we gonna make it work? How are we gonna make it work? All right, so this young feller comes up to our booth, and he is just wanting me to buy this Star Fox watch for $85. The watch is cool. I'm just not interested. It's just not my thing. He's pestering me, bugging me, begging me to buy this. We finally agree on him paying $50, giving me a minty Bomberman Nest cartridge, 
and in return, he's gonna get Resident Evil for the N64, Super Mario, and Ocarina of Time. Jared was being rude. I try to tell him here at Bad Graphics, we're all about solid customer service. You draw a mean barter. All right, what you gotta do is you have to challenge Mega Man over there for a thumb war, and you have to beat him. To beat him in a thumb Beat him in a thumb war. Alright, put them in. Can I challenge you to a thumb war? Are you ready? Three, two, one. How do you play a thumb war? It wasn't again, it wasn't one that you could normally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No! Oh, he got out of it, he got out of it. It was basically the last part of the game. Now I've seen some intense arm wrestling battles. But never before have I seen two young gentlemen go at it like they did in Thumb War. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Woo! Oh, good job, good job. <laughs> Would you be willing to work for your for your money off your game? Super Smash Bros. Super Smash Brothers. How, how much did you want to pay for it? Forty bucks. Right. Forty bucks is all he's got. Slap hand game? How do you play slap hand? You know how to play slap hand? Yeah, I know how to play. Slap okay. Here's the deal. If you can get him, you do it one out of five times. You get it. We're gonna do the deal. <laughs> all right, zero for okay, one. Okay. <laughs> Here's Jim. Okay. <laughs> All right, two more chances. <laughs> one more, you get one more, you get one more, you get one more. This is really hard. Uh, yeah, that was cheap. Oh, uh, you got him. 40. Okay, Good job. Good Thanks. Thanks, you, man. Get, you gotta shake his hand. Okay. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> if you're a fan of retro video games and never attended a convention, all I can say is these things do cost some money to go to. So Emerald Coast Con is a little bit better of a choice because not only do you get to see all these video games, but you get a vacation on the beach. So you may as well do a little kill two birds and one stone action. What more could you ask for? Video games, beach, and booze. Yeah, buddy. He hasn't bought me dinner yet. <laughs> <laughs>